Hey there guys, I have gotten so many pings about these two sub-bosses today. People keep asking where's the video, etc. I just have not had time to sit down and really plan out a nice, you know, budget run or whatever. So just so, you know, people stop asking where's the video, I'm going to show you what I use to OTK these guys, but just be aware, this is not a budget run by any means. It's just a quick clear that I use to OTK these. So I'm going to show you this, I'm going to show you the team, and then we'll go over the gear briefly. But, you know, just, you, you gotta give me time, like a day or two, and I will plan out some, like, budget run stuff. Anyway, so for this boss, we're going to use Sage's Shifted LB for the modifier buff to VV. Lightning Fast Sedane is going to bird killer and then double teammates help each other to fill some LB gauge. Louise is going to fire starter for the field, incapacitate for the break, and double ionic to fill some LB gauge. Red, or Aerith and Red, are going to quad. We're going to ardent for the amplify, wish to save the planet for the rod and peril, and double flame fang to hit the boss as well as um, weakness damage and get a few crystal drops. Now. Steiner's LB is a little bit RNG if you fill it or not. Um, I'll show you the gear in a moment. You can give him a Master Card and the Riser Card. That'll give him a guaranteed turn one LB. You could also use a quad, a quad Attack Rivera for Reflection, but that's a little bit harder to time. Anyway, we're going to use Steiner's LB for the, um, for the Reflection. And then our VV is going to Quad Ferrega and bounce it off the party. And that's going to be our 3.9 or better. The exact damage cap is, let me actually look. Uh, the exact damage cap is 3.865. So 3.86, basically. And we did 6.08 on turn one. So, you know, these, for the veteran players out there, all of you keep, you know, pinging me, how do I kill these, how do I kill these? You should have the units to kill them. And for the newer players, I totally understand you're looking for a budget run. I will have that in time. I've just been really focused on the final boss at the moment. So I just haven't had time to sit down and really work on these guys. And again, you know, it's 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 fine. It's just like I've gotten so many people asking, like, where's the video? Where's the video? Where's the video? It's like, I'm working on it. Anyway, here's the team we used. Um, and again, this is not going to be a budget run yet. So Aerith naked, Zidane naked, Louise naked, Sage naked, Steiner has um, Dragon's Brush, Paws of Prosperity, Advanced Weaponry, Call of the Wild. All of that fills LB Gauge preemptively. Then some LB Fill Rate, and then just a Fire Weapon, because why not? If you want guaranteed LB on turn one, give him a Master Card, unlock this, and give him the Riser Card. That'll be a turn one guarantee LB. VV is just, you know, magic. So a double-handed rod, some chain cap up, some magic stuff. We're giving him Helm Mastery to give him even more magic, and there we go. Just a double hand card, and he caps Bird Killer by default. So, maxed out Bird Killer. There we go. So, we needed 3.9, we did 6. Now, let's pop over to the physical fight. This one, we're going to use a Lightning Team, and again, not budget, but it gets it done on turn 1. Super easy, if you've got powerful gear. So, this is an Aquatic Boss. And I'm not even sure if I geared the party for killers or not. I might have. I don't know. Anyway, so Sylvie is going to triple in the shift form. Paladin's offense for the stat buff. Bolt egg for the lightning imbue, amplify, and peril. And then I've got your back on 2B for a slightly bigger buff. Chizuru, shifted LB. Kaito, shifted LB. Sky, base form LB. 2B, base form LB. We're going to click Kaito first when we go because we're the breaks. Roberta is going to triple. We're going to Aquatic Killer and Double Mystic. we got to get two more hits for Weakness Damage, and that'll do it. So we're going to start Roberta, wait until she starts chaining, then click the rest. Make sure Kaito is clicked first in this combination. And there is going to be your chain count score as well as the Weakness Damage score. We need 3.86. We did 6.5. Once again, overkilled by more than 50%. And I'll show you the gear real quick. Okay. 
here's the breakdown. So 2B basically did the majority of it, Chizuru as well, and then Kaito and Sky are kind of just like support chainers. Well, Kaito's the breaker. My bad. Um, let's show the gear real quick. So naked Roberta, naked Sylvie, naked Kaito, because I don't really care. Uh, Chizuru um, is right here, and I actually did put killers on, so there you go. There's some killers, the cool small card if you have it. Uh, 2B in the base form. Um, there we go, high attack power, LB damage versus aquatic, and there it is, maxed on everything. And then Sky in the base form, um, she's using her LB, basically a support chainer, katana build, uh, and then there it is, LB damage, etc. And Sky's not that big a deal, you can replace her easily with a support chainer. Anyway, you know, I'm currently at the moment really focused on trying to optimize clears on the final boss. I will get to budget runs for the sub-bosses when I have more time. So, see you in a bit.